Hello, 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 and welcome to Kerala Grammar Market. Uh, what is this? I am just laughing in the comments. Uh, so here's the thing. What is this show about? This show is about a simple line. If you can't beat them, join them. What do we do here? We systematically look at the trades done by large institutions. How do we look at it? We look at the charts, see the volumes. We look at the open interest data, see where the open interest options is, and we look at FIDA data. So thankfully for us, because NSC has disclosed all the positions of FIIs and open interest, etc., we don't need to use our brains to find out our trades. We just have to look at what other guys are looking. So are you ready to look at what other guys are doing and copy the trades for, for tomorrow? Here we go. I mean, this is the new intro I'm working on. I keep on working on intros till we get to the point which gets the highest, you know, clickbaity intro. <laughs> but sorry. Anyway, so what did we say yesterday, right? We said Nifty is consolidating, no clear direction. Bank Nifty is consolidating, no clear direction. USD is falling from the top of the channel. We said a lot of call rating at or below 83 and expiry is likely at or below 8300. The PCR was neutral, FIA was bearish. Uh, we said expiry is likely to be a weak one. Yes and no, because expiry was really weak. Uh, Nifty almost fell like a hundred plus. Uh, sorry, I just clean my camera. Nifty almost fell a hundred plus points in the morning, right? Um, and then it had to go up and trigger everybody's stop losses. So we said there might be intraday selling opportunities for 18300 and above calls, which is also true. But the opportunity was strictly intraday because it bounced back. We maintained that our overall view is that there is not much of a downside in Nifty, which we have been saying for quite some time. And we said that the day before yesterday, we said that our preferred trades are bull call spread for next week. Why? Because we expected this expiry to be weak. We expected that, you know, market might just stay here till these expiry, yada, yada, yada. I mean, you know the story, right? So this was a nice week that way for almost everybody except me because I did some very stupid thing in the morning. I had like a 8350 uh, uh, 8400 put I had sold. I uh, sorry, I, I I incorrectly stopped stopped out at you know something I should not have stopped out on, but then I kind of managed it and rolled over to the next expiry. But uh, heavy casualties this expiry, not because you know the view was wrong, because uh, I tried doing some cute stuff with my hedges, but anyway, <laughs> so uh. So Nifty and Bank Nifty are both forming uh, bullish hammers on daily. That's the big news. So look at the daily charts. So this is a weekly chart. Let me go to daily. You know, I think I'm going to end up. Oh, okay. So this is very tricky because see, it's not very clear whether it is above this trend line or below this trend line. Because see, the trend line can go thoda either of the upper niche, right? There's no, I mean, don't look at how this trend line is drawn. This is just drawn this way because it is drawn this way. Even if I shift it, by a tiny amount, right? Um, the, you can see that this is above the trend line. So I'm not going to comment on the trend line simply because that's not very easy to figure out where exactly the trend line is. But what is easy to figure out is this candle and today's price action. This is the candle which is formed today. Sorry, one second. I'll just draw it straight. This is the candle which is formed today. Uh, this is definitely a bullish candle. I want to call it a bullish hammer, but it is almost a bullish hammer. See, a perfect bullish hammer would look like this. But today's Nifty candle looks something like this, right? And this looks more like an ice cream than a bullish hammer, but it looks like a bullish hammer. So I'm going to call it a bullish hammer. And this is usually a positive candle. And if you look at Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty is really, really consolidating. I mean, there's no sense of clear direction in Bank Nifty, which has been happening for a few days. But if you zoom in on today's candle, it is a bullish hammer or a dragonfly doji. You can call it whatever you want, but it is this, right? And this is a good candle. Usually, I would have liked it if it had some more uh, length, but um, it is what it is. So Bank Nifty is also forming a bullish candle. Nifty bullish, Bank Nifty, but... Here's the thing, right? Today is Thursday. So towards the end of expiry, we always look at what's the next week candle looking like early signs. And here's the thing, right? This is a bullish engulfing. This weekly candle we are show seeing here. So what does the candle look like? This is a last week's candle. And this is a bullish engulfing, right? This week's candle is a green candle. 
and i was telling you yesterday that if nifty makes a comeback and closes above 18300 18350 kind of levels we'll end up with a bullish candle and next week can be like a continuation of bull trend so as long as nifty is giving you a positive close tomorrow we can expect a bullish hammer to be formed at the end of this week and market can go up right so that's the big news right so um, so nifty is forming an engulfing bullish on weekly now let's look at option chain Uh, so I have looked at option chain today. So let me look at Nifty Weekly. It's not current week. It's next week. We will look at because current week is over. That was today. Okay. So first, see the obviously this is very early to say anything, but at least as of now, it is heavily stacked in favor of puts. Right, eighteen two hundred and eighteen three hundred are huge supports. Overall, if you look at it, it uh, it's a much more bullish option chain than a bearish option chain. But day one, we all know that early to say, but but it is what it is, right? We'll we'll write down what we have seen: eighteen three two hundred and eighteen yeah eighteen two hundred are big supports, right? Supports and PCR is zero point nine. That is obviously bullish. Now, if I look at FI option data, that's where the mega bullishness comes. Okay, so today's FI data is interesting because we'll let get learn to get something new. So obviously, twenty four thousand puts sold. So recall sold. That is bearish, but one point one lakh. Quantity of puts sold is bullish. Plus plus plus, this is bearish, but it is way more bullish than it is bearish, right? So, if I were to do some interesting graphics, you know, this is what it's looking like. Bulls are, shoot, I'm writing, I'm kind of, <laughs> okay, never mind. But it's very heavy for the bulls right now. Why? Because, right now, here's an interesting thing. Looking at this number, you will think that FIA index FIAs are bearish through uh, this thing, right? But they are actually not, and I'll show you why. See, this number could be today's expiries, uh, uh, future short closing. But the actual number to look at is FIA's future index OI is plus 20k. So, although the futures number here. Says this is bullish. Sorry, this is bearish. This is not really bearish, right? And this is a very important lesson. I don't get to see this very often. This is the truth. FIs have twenty k plus index future contracts open on Nifty. So that's how much is that? Uh, plus twenty k, right? That's that's a healthy number. In fact, if you look at the last hundred uh, day or so. I don't think we'll ever see a plus twenty k OI in the last hundred days, right? And you can see this, right? So this is the best FII future OI uh, that we have seen in a long time. So I'll write everything down. Uh, and also, obviously, the calls are more than puts here. That's a sign of positivity. So uh, there are. So let me write out everything. More. Calls than puts with FA, twenty four k puts all sold and more than one lakh puts sold today. Very bullish. FA futures OI is plus twenty four k. Plus twenty twenty k twenty k plus long that is positive of course. I'll I'll write bullish because positive and negative depends on whether you are short or long. Stock data FII and BI both uh, bought, so it's only retail selling. So stock data FII and BI both buy. And my word it is <laughs> bullish. Yes. to continue if there is a positive close tomorrow 
observe watch weekly candle uh, trades again uh, i i see so here's one interesting thing right and i'll 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 show you my actually verified pnl for today uh, vishnu is asking why do i always have a cold because my nose board is bent uh, not because of any agricultural commodity from colombia uh, then come at indian street bets discord for a way i'll be very happy to if you can send me an invite i really don't know how to i had discord but that was mostly for you know playing age of empires so uh, uh, i'm just looking at uh, okay so see here's the thing right this is what is going on in my head june first is when that entire us ka debt ceiling deadline is going to play out so june uh, second is the next uh, june second is the debt ceiling deadline i think uh, june first is the uh, expiry i don't know if i want to play the june first expiry with the decision uh, deadline on june second uh, anyway i don't know what's the entire scenario going to be now if i am fairly sure that there is going to be a breakout i would want to play a longer term term game right uh, because i get more time on my side so i'll actually show you what my uh, uh one second um so actually let me try to build it here because otherwise i'll have to log into that other account and it's going to be a pain so let me go to trade builder what the question i'm carrying is i've sold 18 300 puts for next uh, june 8th right let me build this 18300 puts for june 8th i have sent is sold sorry june end i have sold not even june 8th right because i i i really think by the end of the june it might be an interesting play now this is what i have sold 18300 june puts right uh now the obvious thing is that i have to hedge it with something so to hedge it um, what i have done is i have bought uh 18000 puts of june 8th why 8th because uh, again the june 1st is what i'm hearing the entire us debt ceiling and all is happening so i don't want to be uh, caught at that point so basically i bought this thing right now um, see what i like about this is a let's say you i mean hypothetically let's say you have 30 lots or something right um, see the worst case on june uh, 8th right if nifty is up something like 3% right oh this is a little too much right i mean i don't think i should be sort 30 lots is too much but uh, if you're uh, doing 30 lot 10 lots that they are what is this 30 lots and all serious vision gambling problems so this is 60k if nifty is up 10% uh, i mean 3% it will be up 60k uh, if nifty is down let's say even 10% right let's say us debt ceiling collapses horribly right uh, and uh, sorry i shouldn't be doing this 17000 nifty let's say i put it right what's up you will be losing 47k i like this trade simply because uh, this has uh, basically it's a little complex basically i'm hedging a high delta option with low gamma using a low delta option with high gamma but please don't get into that basically i am hoping that before june 8th nifty will go up quite a bit especially after the us debt ceiling cut talks and all see i don't know what is happening in us debt ceiling but everybody seems to be long on india so let me just play the same game so i bought this 18 sold this 18300 kaput and to hedge it i don't want to pay the 29th june uh, put of course because that is very expensive if i change this expiry to 29th june you will see that this is a 95 rupee put so i basically hedge it with a, a 35 rupee put the logic being that before june 8th i'll get a move and i'll get out right and this is what the theory is but this is one trade which i am doing i'm not saying that i'm going to do uh, you should do that but uh, it's just one way of looking at hedges basically you can hedge a short term long term option uh, sell with a short term option buy right uh, but anyway that is that so 
anyway this is our analysis for today we'll see you again on uh, sunday night i'm trying to set up a new camera setting everything uh, before that so next time when we meet it will be a very different looking calagra market so on that note i'll take you leave thank you again for joining as usual please take care and keep your capital safe bye